In this video, let's start creating a snake game in Eclipse. So today, we'll try to draw a grid, okay? The board, the game board, the new Java project. Project name, snake. Next, finish. Module name, don't create. Let's create our package, new package. Um, dot go down dot golden ladder dot snake. Okay. Our first class of this project, snake. Because this is the first one, so we need this entry point method main. Command D to delete that, and uh, let's create our J frame. Control space, yeah. <clears throat> frame equals new J frame. This one has the title Snake. Okay. Let's set its size. Set its size. Yeah. This one. 600 by 600. Okay. Um, frame dot set visible true. Let's give a try. Snake. Yeah, you see. Um, now let's create our panel for the game board. Right click here, new class. This time let's use board board view, board panel. Okay, board is the game board. So <clears throat> let's draw our first line, okay? First horizontal line here, somewhere like that, okay. We need to override. Oh, so we need to extend a super card, right? J panel first. J pad panel, yeah, this one. And let's fix this warning. We don't care this for now. Now let's override the paint component. Component, this one. And let's delete this one. And try to draw a single line. G um okay g dot draw line no i cannot draw line from <laughs> let's define the origin x and origin y the anchor point of our grid so we don't want to hard code this thing here let's define some constant here so pry let's don't use this so just use a static int final int origin origin x origin x okay equals let's use say x twenty three and make a copy of that origin y what about 37 i like prime numbers okay so we still need the cell side right so like the the size of the square for of it uh, of the grid 
cell side equals let's use a big one like 53 okay is 59 a prime number <laughs> okay so now let's do the calculation here so origin x yeah if you like we can bring up our let's bring up our whiteboard so auto draw yeah mm, let's make it smaller we don't need yeah so our plan is let's reveal how we calculate this grid thing so let's draw a rectangle here like that right this is the grid we want to draw so from here to here right so this is origin x let me use the free drawing okay so this is origin x origin x and this is the origin y and what's the cell side so you say if our grid is this big right Yeah, so I mean this, this is a square and the side, right? Side length of that one, we set it as cell side. Okay, now let's go back to our code. So now let's calculate the length of this one, okay? So to calculate the the length of this one, we need another number, right? Like how many columns, how many columns we want to make, right? So let's define that. But that one should be, okay. So let's put it in the top. Um, let's use columns equal to we don't want to be very aggressive just let's use seven here and the rows how many rows same idea let's use five okay now what is the x what is the x from what is x of the end end point here right it's the origin x right origin x plus cell side time is uh, the number of columns one two three four yeah something like that so now we have this one origin x plus columns times cell side Similarly, y origin y plus rows times cell side. And the, no, sorry. This is our ending point here. Yeah. And so we start from origin x and the y. This is the last y. So let's let me save this one because uh, we'll use it uh, shortly. Let's delete it. Not big deal. So y will be origin y for now. Yeah. This is our first 
horizontal line. Now let's add this guy into the stop it here. J uh, frame. So let's create one here. Um, board panel panel equals new board panel now frame dot add component panel yeah i think it should be okay so let's run it yeah um we'll check the lens and the yeah the ending right whether it's correct or not, should we? When we add more lines, right? Let's draw how many? Let's draw five of them, okay? We need, no, actually five. Yeah, we need another five. So for loop lens. This should be rows at the one, right? Let's move in this guy and let's increase the Y, yeah, by so I times cell side, right? And the same thing here plus i times cell side let's give it a try quickly yes five rows yeah one two three four five now let's add in the vertical line let's draw okay for loop this is a trick we can do right Let's just draw a single line here. So we put a one. It means uh, we just run one iteration here. So g dot draw line. What's the x? Of course, the the first line is origin x. Origin Y. Origin Y. X should be same, right? The vertical line. Origin should be the same. Keep saying the Y will be here, right? From here to here. Okay. Now, what's that? Origin Y, right? Plus. Plus. How many rows? Seven rows seven no 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 five rows so it's rows times um cell side let's see perfect now let's increase this to columns plus one so we need yeah seven seven columns here so now every time we need to add right increase the x so plus i times cell sign same thing we'll do the same for here i oh low case cell side let's see oh we didn't make any mistakes, right? In the calculation. And now to test our uh, origin X and origin Y, let's push it to the right by 100, okay? So one, two, three, four. One, oh no, one, two, three, and push down by 100, okay? Let's see. Command Shift. Uh, command shift in my case and F mm, is that okay too much right 
so maybe we can use a smaller number here like seven and uh, this one maybe yeah or this one it doesn't matter 